Here are the two changes that really worry me. I'm a proud son of a veterinarian and a farmer, dad and mom. My parents' story relate my childhood experiences to concern about food security and sovereignty. Back in the days in the 50s to the 80s, the Gambia was food self-sufficient and secured. We had enough unquality food which made us happier and healthier, my grandmother said. We do not know how imported rice tastes, but today, she lamented, your generation relies on it. I'm afraid your ability to control what you eat is threatened as you do not know how it was processed, she added. I remember as a child, I recall having two choices, either performing well at school or becoming a farmer. The former becomes the struggle for a new life, while the latter is generally viewed as an occupation for stupid and poorly performed students. I hate farming, many of my friends keep on saying. When I ask why, they say because society on the valley said. This cultural change in food production really worries me. It is a grand challenge we must deal with. The second thing that really worries me today is global climate change. Did you know that the severe and frequent impacts of climate change is constantly threatening food sovereignty around the world? Millions of farmers are frustrated and my friends are discouraged. In 2010, my country experienced severe drought. Cereal production declined by half and about half of the population were to experience hunger. Can you imagine the health implication of this unvulnerable population, pregnant women, children, and the elderly. These two changes that worry me also challenge and encourage me to fight against them. I know global development and innovation cannot resist change, but we must lobby and advocate for positive change. That is development, a changes that threaten the well-being and the welfare of one society and promotes that of another. To realize positive change, I work in different capacities including Director of Administration at the National Disaster Management Agency. The incredible work of this agency inspired me to further pursue a graduate degree in international development practice with a focus on science, technology, and environmental policy. As one of America's governors has said, we are the first generation to feel the impact of climate change and the last generation that can do something about it. This leadership inspiration is what brings about positive change. It challenges me to be a good ambassador against climate change and further establish an institute on environment and climate change in my country. Remember, a society that does not grow its own food is an unhealthy society. Also remember that this is not just a Gambian story or an African story. It is a story I found in the United States of America where communities in food desert areas lack fresh and quality food for their daily consumption. No society or nation is immune to global climate threats, Obama said in Paris.